Getting started with Color Finale Transcoder. Color Finale Transcoder is an FCP workflow extension which can import raw format media from popular cameras directly within Final Cut Pro. Color Finale Transcoder requires Final Cut Pro 10.5 running on macOS, Catalina, or Big Sur on Macs with Intel or M1 CPUs. Download the Color Finale Transcoder DMG from the website. We have one installer which runs in trial mode which can be activated with the license key. Open the DMG and read and accept the end user license agreement. The actual installation process is very simple. Double click on Color Finale Transcoder, open it and agree to move the application to the forward slash applications folder. If you have already received an activation code, enter it into the text field and press activate. Otherwise, Color Finale Transcoder will run in a trial mode with a visible watermark display. You can spot Color Finale Transcoder running in the toolbar at the top of the screen next to Spotlight and Time and Date controls. The Final Cut Pro Color Finale Transcoder extension is located on the top left hand side of the UI on its own, or within the pull down menu if you have any workflow extensions installed. The Color Finale Transcoder window contains a file browser, image preview, and parameter panels. Navigate to the location where raw media is stored. To save time, you can add frequently accessed locations to the Favorites section. When raw media is selected, you'll see a preview of the current frame, and in the Parameters panel, you can choose transcoding settings for a given clip. You can choose Media Codec, import resolution and color space for the transcoded clip. You can adjust white balance, exposure and other settings specific to a selected camera media. These settings are different for different media types. Adjusted parameters can be copied to multiple shots. Finally, reset reverts all settings to default. At the top of the frame preview panel, you can configure image preview. You can apply a viewing LUT or apply correction to view footage shot with anamorphic lenses and select a viewing color space to match the FCP project color space. Note that these settings are for preview only and won't be applied to the transcoded media. To import one or more selected clips, use the import button. Then select one of the existing libraries to choose where to store transcoded media. Color Finale Transcoder begins the transcoding process in the background. To monitor progress, check the Background Tasks panel. Another way to quickly import a media clip is by dragging and dropping it into events. Color Finale Transcoder works with ARRI RAW files stored as a sequence of frames. It automatically creates ProRes files out of them. To get maximum dynamic range, Use log C or one of the HDR formats. Note that you should use a library configured for HDR color space to get the best results. When importing media, by default all clips are copied to an event with the current date. You can choose a different name by selecting New Name. If you are revisiting a clip, Color Finale Transcoder remembers any parameter adjustments. Use the Color Finale Transcoder toolbar control to check and receive software updates, manage licenses, and leave feedback in order to get support. We hope that Color Finale Transcoder improves your camera to edit workflow. It's a new project and we'll be adding more features as we move forward with it. Please email us if you have any requests. We would be thrilled to help make media management work faster and easier so that you can concentrate on your creative work. Thank you from the Color Finale Transcoder team.